All right, guys. Today, a video about why hoeing don't pay. No, wait. Mackin don't pay. No, wait. The dangers of being a player. Oh, that's not it. Why you shouldn't womanize. <laughs> So it's going to be a true story, a little bit painful. There's a lesson in it. I want you to guys to feel the pain, take the lesson away with you, use it in your life. You understand what I'm saying? Look at me. I'm sharing for you. For you, I've already, I got the lesson down. Y'all need to listen. Okay, here we go. This is particularly for the guys who are in the phase of their life, personal development, where they're chasing ladies. I feel like most guys go through this phase at some point. I went through it like 15 to 35. I spent 20 years in this phase, guys. I'll be honest. It was a long time. I'm glad I did it. If you can get the phase out of your system, unless I commend you for it. Okay. So I thought I was a super badass because I was going out there and I was like going after a lot of chicks. I was hooking up with a lot of girls and stuff. I had multiple girlfriends. All that stuff was going on. And during this period, because I was I was putting such an emphasis on the numbers game it really was like hey you know the more chicks i talk to the more phone numbers i get the more girls i'm going to hook up with and it was it was really just about the the numbers and it was an ego thing look at me i'm so cool i'm hooking up with all these chicks blah 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 okay all this bullshit and uh i'm not saying it wasn't fun it was part of my journey but i learned a really brutal lesson the hard way and it's that you can really blow a huge opportunity to be with a really special person that you could have an amazing, uh, not necessarily rela like relationship with, could be an entire life. I'm talking about like a soulmate connection. You can lose out on those connections if you're focusing on the numbers game, if you're focusing on the sex. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happened to me. Probably more than once, but one particular time back in the day. And then I hooked up with this one woman who was unbelievable. I was completely in love with it was ridiculous never been so happy in my life it was unbelievable but because i was a fool and i was petrified um and i had this idea that i needed to you know this is who i am i gotta be doing this thing i got all these chicks i'm not gonna give up all this lifestyle and going around and teaching this stuff for this for this one girl and i was cocky but basically i thought that i could continue that lifestyle and at some somehow still end up getting this girl no, I had a decision, and the decision was, do I go for this thing that's like, oh my god, and I, and I, and I had this feeling inside of me for the first time in my life that was like, this 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 is this is the one, this is it, drop the rest, forget it, marry this girl, you know, you're so crazy about her, this is done, fuck it, this is it, and I never even had these thoughts before, and I was like, that's it, you're done, you're fucked. As so I was in this mindset, I I lost. You know, what could have been my future wife or definitely could have been a multi-year amazing, amazing relationship with someone I was madly in love with. I suffered tremendously because I was so crazy about this woman. That's, that's I can tell you guys, if, if you haven't had the experience, uh, being crazy in love with somebody and not being with them is torture. Is really bad. I really thought about, like, why this happened and what the lesson was for me. And the lesson was don't disrespect sex. Don't disrespect uh, relationships with with other people. In, in my case, with women, this this was really the universe putting the smack down on me and going, "Oh, you're you know, okay, you want to play with fire? You know, this is a, this is a really intimate thing. Sleeping with somebody uh, is very intimate. It's very personal. It's it's not just you know two animals fucking. We're human beings. It's 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 a lot deeper than that. That lesson was very 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 clear once I once I thought about it. And so so just I just want to make this message just just to get that out to people. Um, take it a little bit more seriously. You know, it's good to be working on your skills. It's good to be socially free. It's good to be able to talk to women. It's good to be able to do all these things, but don't be so quick to sleep with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, don't make it a game. Don't make it about your ego. Don't make it about the numbers. Uh, make it about, make it about you being able to express yourself authentically, right? Do your thing, live your life, do what you love. And when you see those women in whatever opportunities and you really want to connect with them, connect with them. But just because you can talk to a woman and just because she gives you your phone number doesn't mean you have to sleep with her. You know, get to know people, like have a, have a connection. And uh, I learned my lesson and I just wanted to, I just want to share this on in case, you know, if, if anyone out there is watching and you get into that similar situation where maybe you're doing pretty well and you've got things happening with multiple girls and then one shows up and you're like, oh my God, what do I do? 
fucking go for it, bro. <laughs> that, that would be that would be my advice. Go for it. Don't look back. Um, and you know whatever will be will be. One caveat though, just because you're dating someone, you're crazy about them, it doesn't mean you. you you have to stop exercising your your social freedom muscles at least talking to people being social high five people being being a good time you know what i'm saying don't stay home and watch netflix for the next two years because you're in a relationship with someone you're crazy about don't do that it, it's it's really a special intimate thing and save that making love for when at least there's like a decent connection between you and somebody and and keep that space open in your life to to, to go really really deep with somebody because that's really where the the personal growth is it's in those those relationships and uh, being in love is crazy fun. I'm going to be releasing uh, a lot of things are happening, some courses and some dates about my where I'm going to be traveling around the world and stuff I'm teaching and an online course that's coming out. So a lot of crazy stuff. So if you want to be first to know about all that stuff and you want to get the best possible deal and bonuses and all of that, you want to get the top, be on my freaking newsletter. All you got to do is click the link below and get my free report, uh, my social freedom secret, and then you'll be on my list and then you'll you'll know when I'm when I'm doing crazy stuff. Okay, I love you guys. And uh, if you think you know somebody who's macking a lot of hoes that needs to hear this video, please share. It wouldn't kill you to like the video either, would it? Mm -mm. Okay, see you. Ciao.